Okay, so continuing with the next one here. I've done one and two. So question B1. Subheading three, okay. Let's see this. <clears throat> We're solving them by first forming a pair of linear equations. So three is here. Given to us four by x plus three y is equal to 14, let us keep this one as a question one. And then the next one is 3 by x minus 4y is equal to 23. This is a question number two. We're going to put it that way. Okay. So we, as we have been saying, we find out the similar pattern in the two equations here, we can see no number here, four ones are, so one is here, one by x, here also one by x. So let us put here one by x being replaced by, let us say, a, okay. So that we reduce it into a normal, usual form of linear equation, pair of linear equation. That's what the question is saying to do first, right? So if you put like this, then, from one or from equation one because here it's quite okay now y is already on the numerator so no need to change it so from one here we'll be getting four into here no number means one by x and your one by x is we're going to put as a plus three y that's fine is equal to 14 let us keep this one as equation number three okay and then likewise or similarly from equation number two here one by x so we'll just write the three first and one by x is going to be replaced by a so this one by x replaced by a next is a minus four y is equal to 23 let us keep this one as question four and the question is saying solve by solve means find a, the unknowns they didn't specify the method, so we're going to use elimination, which is the easiest of the three algebraic method, right? So, so if you're going to do elimination, we have to take the coefficients of the first variable, a4 and 3. And 4 and 3, the coefficients of a, the LCM, we have to find, which is 12. If you take the next one, which is x, sorry, y rather, so here, y, then the coefficients of y in the two are three and four here. We can neglect the plus or minus sign for finding the LCM for equating coefficient. Okay, three fours are 12, so both are same. So whether you take the <coughs> y coefficients or the a coefficients to equate, it's the same number, so uh, that is, we can, a matter of your choice, okay? Anyone you can take. Okay, so here let us take y for a change. And if you're going to take this y to equate, means we're going to equate the y coefficients, because they're not yet equal 3 and 4. And the y by which we're going to equate is by LCM method. There, 12 is the LCM. So the first one here, 3. How much is 2? 4 are 12. So 4 multiplied by 4, the equation 3. And coefficient of y in the next one is 4. So 4 trees are makes the LCM 12. 3 will therefore multiply every term in equation 4. When we do that, then 4 multiply equation 3. So 4 fours are 16 A. 4 fours are 16 A. Next is a plus. 4 threes are 12 Y. Equal to 4 into 14. Okay, 4 fours are 16, 1, and 4, 1, the 4, 5. So we're getting that, right? So we might put this one as equation number 5, following 4, right? So next is 3, we'll multiply every term in equation 4. So 3, 3 is our 9a minus 3, 4 is our 12. So we have equated the y coefficients now. That's what we mean by equating coefficients, making the absolute value equal 12, 12, right? And 3 will multiply this, so 3, 3 is our 9, 3, 2 is our 6. 
I just put this one as six following five serially that will go to six, right? So if you put a line here now, you see here, look at the equated coefficients which are here, that of y, 12 and 12. If the equated coefficients of opposite sign or different sign rather, we do equation five plus equation six. Had they been same sign like minus and minus or plus and plus, we know we would have done five minus six. By now we are familiar with this, right? So here plus 12y minus 12y zero. So eliminated, that's called elimination method. So we are eliminating by equating them and subtracting, right? 16a plus 9a is 25a. I mean this one, okay, equal to, okay, so here, <clears throat> 69 plus 56, both are no signs, so plus, so add 15, 1 in hand, so plus 1, 12, so 125, so here A will be equal to 125 by, this 25 into shifted will come down here, so 25, ones are 25, 25, 6 are 125, you can try it. 25 into 6, 5 is 30, 6 to the 2, 3 and 40, 15. Oh, sorry, 6 is 25, 5, sorry, 25, 5 is 125. So, 5, 5 is we know is 25, 2 in 5 to the 10, 11, 12, you can see that. Or you can even cancel starting with the is your timetable 5 also, you will get the same thing. So A, we got it, is equal to 5 by 1 means 5. So putting this value here to find the other coefficient, A equal to 5 in equation either 3 or 4 up to you. Uh, in equation, yes, 3 or 4 up to you. But choose the easier one here, 4, 3, 14, 3, 4, 20, maybe the first one. 14 is slightly smaller than 23, so if that doesn't mean it's a rule okay if you were to put the same thing in equation 4 also you'll get the same answer so it's not wrong okay why we choose is because we want to make our solving easier right so once we are through with that we're thinking 3 so 4 into a here is going to be replaced by 5 therefore plus 3y is equal to 14 right so slowly as we go on we're going to get here 4 5 are 20 plus 3y is equal to 14 so that implies 3y you keep it because we want to find the y 14 is okay then no sign in front of 20 is plus 20 so go to the right side become minus 20 so we're going to get here 3y equal to bigger absolute value put it up 20 smaller absolute value is 14 with no sign in front means it's a plus sign, right? Minus plus means subtraction, so 10 minus 4 is 6. To make 10 here, we borrowed 1 from here, so 2 has reduced to 1, so 1 minus 1, 0, which we did not write. So bigger absolute value is 20, whose sign is minus. So 6 also will have minus sign, minus 6. We're going to give you y equal to minus 6, and then 3 into means, if you shift to right side, it will go to denominator. Right, so 3 ones are 3. 3 2s are 6 or minus 2. That's the same as book answer, right? So putting, well, we have got a and y, but we have to find the x original one, not the a. So let's go to the place where, in the beginning, where we have related a to x term. So here, the, here is the one. So since in the beginning we have decided to put 1 by x is equal to a, this one. So we're going to get here 1 by x is equal to a value we calculated here and we got 5 so you can put there 5. 5 means 5 by 1 if you want to write. Even if you don't write it's fine okay x into 5 cross multiply 5x 1 ones are after equal sign 1. So x is going to be 1 and 5 into means if you shift the right side go to denominator. Therefore the required solution okay is x value just now we got 1 by 5 y value as we can see here is minus 2 
So this is our answer. We solved by elimination method and found that. Even if we were to do substitution method, nothing wrong because they didn't specify the method. Okay, and you'll get the same answer. One more question before we complete this part. The last one, four, subpending four. Okay, so let us do slowly. So let us look into your question. Number four. Here is five, first one, five by x minus one plus one by y minus two is equal to two. Let us put this one as equation one. And the next one, six by x minus one minus three by y minus two is equal to one. Equation two, let us say. So let us, like we have been doing, let us do that. Similar pattern in the first term, one by, no number means one is always there, right? So no need to write that. I'm writing for explanation, so one, explanation six. So one by x minus one is there in both. So one by x minus one here, one by x minus one. Let us put as a in both this equation. And let us put one by here, if you write one, 1 by y minus 2. Here also, 3 ones are 3, so 1 by y minus 2, this one. Let us put as b. As I said, I'm putting these numbers for explanation. You may not write if you don't want. Okay, so here, once we're through with that, then we can also replace that. So if you do that from equation number 1, you're going to get 1 by x minus 1 replaced, so here 5 you write, 1 by x minus 1 replaced by a, so a, plus 1 by y minus 2 replaced by b, so here b, 1b means b only, so b equal to 2, this is equation number 3, let us say. And likewise, or similarly from equation number 2, 1 by x minus 1, here 6, sorry, that, 1 by x minus 1 replaced by a, minus 3 into 1 by y minus 2 replaced by b, 1, equation number 4. So as we said, we have to solve by any algebraic method. We have chosen elimination method because that seems to be easier for us, right? So let us find the coefficients of a in equations 3 and 4. Here a in front of a is called coefficient 5 and 6. We know that 5 and 6 we have to find the LCM which is 30. And B coefficients are here. No number means 1 and 3. So I write you 1 and 3. And LCM is 1 and 3 is 3. So 3 LCM is smaller than 30. So most probably it will be easier to deal. So let us take which is 3 is that of B. So here B and B we are choosing. We here the number in front of B is 1. So 1 how much is 3? 1, 3 is a 3 the LCM. 1, 3 is a 3 LCM. So Multiply the number 3 to everything in equation number 3, sorry. Everything in equation number 3, the first one. Because we want to equate the coefficient. Then the next one, we're taking B, right? So the next coefficient of B in this fourth equation is here. 3. So 3, how much is 3? 3 ones are. 3 ones are this 3. So multiply the number 1 to every term in equation number 4. Then we will get these two equated, which are not yet equated equated 1 and 3 is not equal right so 3 5s are 15 a because you're multiplying 3 to every term in equation 3 plus 3 into b is 3 b and 3 twos are 6 after equal sign let's put this on as 5 following 4 okay i hope you're getting next year one is going to multiply every term in equation 4 so the equation won't change it will remain same because it's multiplied by one so it doesn't change the expression so this is equation number six let us say now we see that when we do that the b ones are equated here sign need not be equal but the number absolute value three and three the equated coefficients are opposite sign or different sign so we do five equation plus equation six as we, have, as we have been repeating again and again, if they have the same sign, plus or plus and minus and minus, 
we would have done 5 minus 6, you know that by now, to, to eliminate, right? So plus 5 plus 6 means nothing will change, plus 3b minus 3b is 0. 15 plus 15a plus 6a is 21a. 6 plus 1 is 7, so we are going to get here. A equal to 7 divided by this into means 21 go right side, come down to denominator. So once we are done with that, then 7 ones are 7, 7 3s are 21, so A we got 1 by 3. To find the B, we are going to do putting A equal to, sorry, A, A equal to 1 by 3 in equation either 3 or 4, you'll get the same answer, 3 or 4. That's up to you, but let's choose the easier one here. 5, 1, 2, 6, 3, 1. Almost the same, so let's just take 3. If you had chosen a question to put in equation 4, unlike me, nothing wrong, you'll get the same answer. Okay, it's not wrong. 5 into A here is 1 by 3, right? Then plus B is equal to 2, as you can see, because we're putting in 3. So that is 5 ones of 5 by 3 plus b is equal to 2. Since we want to find b, don't move that and shift everything else to the right side. No sign here means plus 5 by 3 becomes minus 5 by 3. I hope you're getting right. So that way the LCM here is 3, then 3 to the 6 minus here. This will remain same. Since you've multiplied, long line covers up to here now. Plus 6 minus 5, minus 5 is plus 1 so by 3. But solve means we have to go back to original and find the original variables x and y. So since we put here in the beginning 1 by x minus 1 is equal to a, let us replace the value of a here, which is here we've got 1 by 3. Then we're going to get the value of x, right? x minus 1 into 1 cross multiply, x minus 1. Then after equal sign, 3 ones are 3. That is called cross multiplication, right? So that is here. x is equal to 3, this one. And minus 1 shifted to right side become plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we got x. Now let us find y. Similarly, since in the beginning we put 1, y by y minus 2 is equal to b, as you can see here. 1 by y minus 2 is equal to b. So we may write here 1 by y minus 2 is equal to b value. We got here 1 by 3. So you replace that. Why? Because if we do that, we're going to get a value of y, accurate one. y minus 2 into 1 is y minus 2. We are cross multiplying, right? After equal sign, 3 ones are 3. So that gives you y is equal to. This one 3 and minus 2 shifted to right side become plus 2, so 3 plus 2, 5. So our required solution, or you can say the required solution, means the answers for x and y here. x is equal to, as you can see, 4 and y is equal to 5, as we can see. Okay, same as textbook answer, so that concludes the part for test 3.6. This is test 3.6a, okay, I forgot to put in the beginning, 3.6a, okay.